And then Los Alamos picked up nearly a quarter of an inch of rain. So we're seeing the rain and uh, we're still seeing some really heavy showers over the northeastern corner of the state. And that's where we have a ton of lightning, gusty winds, and you may even see a little pea-sized hail coming out some of those storms up in the northeast. Here's a look at the radar now, and we're still seeing a lot of coverage of showers and storms, mainly for northeast and southwestern sections of New Mexico in the higher terrain and moderate to heavy rain coming down. So some downpours still going on out there. And again, the heaviest of the stuff over in the northeast, just look at this up near the northeastern corner, a likely pea sized hail in that storm is drifting slowly to the north and west and certainly heavy rain and a lot of lightning. And of course, again, gusty winds, Roy getting wet, uh, Springer up near Raton. We'll have to watch for some flooding near the track fire burn scar too with all that heavy rain there. Down in the southeast, we've seen a few light showers move through Roswell and right now, we're right in the middle of two heavy showers here moving to the west and northwest. Portales seeing a little light rain and Carlsbad fire Finally getting some much needed rain with some moderate and even heavy showers falling there. And then up in the central part of the state and looking out west, of course, the metro dry and you're likely going to stay dry as we head through the rest of the evening, but out over the Gila. Seeing moderate rain there falling over near Grants and all that heading on to the west and even a few light showers up near the Gallup area. So yeah, dry in the metro right now. Cloudy skies right now, 79 degrees and winds out of the east at 20 miles per hour. We're kind of getting into that rain shadow. We have that easterly flow is bringing all the moisture up along the east slopes of the mountains. So it moves up the east mountains and then it dries out when it gets here. So we just can't uh, get any showers to fall here. Temperature wise across the state, 60s to the north, upper 60s up in the northeast still in the 70s and 80s down in the southeast, so doing a little better than yesterday. As we head into the weekend, we're going to be looking at decent storm coverage once again across the northern mountain or northern mountains, the central mountain chain, and back across the southwest. High terrain there with only spot activity in the southeast and maybe a stray shower or storm for the metro. A weak disturbance will be moving through tomorrow, and that could uh, get a little bit uh, more energy going, so we may see a few more showers and storms across the western high terrain tomorrow down in the southwest and of course, over in the central mountain chain. And then on Sunday, we may get a little help from Tropical Storm Dawn. The remnants of Dawn heading our way. Most of the moisture staying to the south, but we get a little bit of that moisture into southwestern New Mexico, really ramping up those rain chances there. Still across the east and southeast, you're looking pretty dry in the metro. Our storm chances are going to be pretty slim, too. And then next week, it gets a lot drier for just about everybody. Four Corners area tomorrow, partly cloudy with a few isolated thunderstorms and temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Scattered storms in the afternoon this weekend and then mainly isolated activity next week. Down in the southwest, partly cloudy skies with more scattered storms and rain chances are going to stay really decent here through the weekend with it starting to taper off going into next week and temperatures go back up too, back into the upper 80s for Silver City. South and east, a mix of sun and clouds. We may see a few more isolated thunderstorms tomorrow and then after that, rain chances really going down. We are getting a little bit of a break from the heat though. Mid 90s for Roswell tomorrow and Sunday. We're back to the triple digits by Tuesday. North and east, partly cloudy with a few scattered storms tomorrow afternoon. I don't think we'll see the coverage that we have been seeing, but we will be looking at decent chances of rain at least through the weekend and then mainly isolated activity for Las Vegas next week. Northern mountains, more storms will develop this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon. That is your seven day forecast for Santa Fe with highs in the upper 80s to nearly 90 degrees and then just spot storms next week. East mountains looking at a few isolated thunderstorms tomorrow and then Next week, again, our rain chance is starting to go down, even for the mountains. For the metro, partly cloudy with a few isolated thunderstorms. Temps not too bad. Low 90s as we head into the weekend. We're back into the mid-90s next week, and uh, we're not going to get a lot more moisture next week, so rain chances are going to be going down, and we still haven't really gotten much the last few Drawing days. Drying out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kristen, thank you.